welcome to the session let today let us understand about what is a synchronous generator synchronous generator construction and working principle of synchronous generator what is basically a synchronous generator so we all know that a machine which generates an ac emf are known as synchronous generators are alternators so when we compare the synchronous generators with dc generator the main difference would be in the dc generator where the field of the dc generator is kept stationary and the armature is made to rotate but in the case of an alternator what we do is it's vice versa the field is rotating and the armature is made stationary so here in your synchronous generator there is no commutator or the brushes which were used in dc generator the slipping and the brush assembly which were used in the dc voltage or dc generator will not be available in your ac generators so generally the ac generators or the alternators are used to produce very high voltages and they are installed at modern power stations so we must understand when compared to dc generators when we rotate the field what are the different advantages now when we rotate the field we have large ac emf which is developed in the armature so as it is stationary so large space can be provided in order to accommodate large number of conductors and the insulation also the armature gets protected from the mechanical and electrical stress uh, when it comes to collection it is easier to collect at very large high voltages from the stationary armatures at also large currents so here we can eliminate the problem of sparking at split, uh, at the slip rings also the field is low inertia circuit and easy to rotate and also the overall construction becomes simple due to stationary armature and we require only two slip rings for the rotating field so also the ventilation arrangements can be improved now when it comes to construction of the synchronous generator we can divide it into two parts one is staged stator the other one is rotor now what is a stator now the stator we can see here the stator of an alternator in stator of the alternator the stator has laminated construction which generally consists of core here this is the core stator core and the slots to hold the armature winding we can see here the slots wherein the armature windings have been folded so generally it is built up of special steel stampings so here in this diagram you can see this is a part of an alternator stator so stator is also stationary part of the machine or the alternator which will be kept constant or it will not be rotated now you can see here the copper conductors the tooth of the machine and the various slots with an insulated lining winding and the overall stator core so this is the actual stator of the alternator wherein the laminated and the stator cores have been placed here now when it comes to rotor there are two types of the rotors one is salient pole rotor salient the other one is non salient or smooth cylindrical type rotor so generally in salient pole rotor the poles are projected outwards and the field winding is provided on the pole shoe so these rotors have generally have large diameter and small axial lengths uh, these type of rotors are generally preferred for low speed alternators where in the cylindrical rotors when we divide into four poles like north south north south it is in, in the form of cylindrical in nature and it consists of smooth solid steel cylindrical having number of slots to accommodate the field winding here the unslotted portions of the cylindrical act as the poles so these rotors have a small diameters and a very large axial lengths 
these are mechanically strong and generally used for high speed alternators and they are also called as turbo alternators. So these are the two types of rotors when it comes to construction of your alternator. So hope you understood the construction of alternator.